So I've been trying to keep up with all of Mike Lindell's shenanigans. Uh, I haven't talked about it much on the channel, but I mean, just seeing his cyber symposium, some of the interviews that he's given, I don't really know what to say. He is, uh, he's crazy. <laughs> There's, there's no other word to describe him. His antics are absolutely bizarre. I think he's genuinely unwell. Um, but having said that, though, he is popular enough to where the misinformation that he's spreading is absolutely damaging. Now, some of the individuals, some of the media partners in the right-wing world who helped him propagate the spread of dangerous misinformation about the 2020 election, uh, now they're angry at Mike Lindell because he is turning on them. So if you get enough crazy people together, it's only a matter of time before they start to turn on each other and begin to eat themselves. And that's exactly what's happening. So Right Wing Watch reports, the right wing conspiracy theorists at True News suddenly realized that nothing Mike Lindell says can be believed after he accused them of being an Antifa front group established by Media Matters. Now that is quite the accusation to lob against true news of all organizations and if, if you're not familiar with true news and rick wiles uh, i'll give you some information about them but uh the video that you're gonna see now uh it's gonna have mike lindell talk about an intelligence report that his allies have uh brought to his attention that definitely confirms that true news is just an extension of media matters they were founded by media matters and they're doing the bidding of media matters I have a report from from our counterintelligence and the people that were there. Um, they've given me this report, and this will be ready by tonight. Um, Antifa, um, they on our counterintelligence. Antifa, uh, they were the individuals were were working with True News, which is a fake news site established by Media Matters for America. Uh, we believe Zachary Patrizo and from Salon was involved. We've got them all on tape colluding with masks on. If his sources of information are so faulty that he accuses True News of being a Media Matters puppet. Funded by Media funded Matters. Funded me by Media Matters. And Smuggling. then we smuggle Antifa terrorists into meetings. If his information is that faulty, then I can't trust anything Mike Lindell says. Mike Lindell? Untrustworthy? <laughs> no. I can't see it. He seems like a stand-up guy who would never tell a lie. Um, look, I don't have the full context here. I don't necessarily know why they're turning on each other, but uh, I'm going to assume that the reason why they're turning on each other isn't necessarily due to some petty squabble or disagreement. I think that Mike Lindell probably genuinely believes that True News is something that was established by Media Matters. It's like this left-wing Antifa front. I mean, I I'm honestly not sure, but Rick Wiles is not pleased, and he decided to escalate after he already kind of denounced what Mike Lindell says. So Right Wing Watch tweets, Rick Wiles is demanding that Mike Lindell retract his accusations, issue an apology, and send True News $1 million to compensate for the damage you have done to us. And this is, uh, this is really entertaining. Grab your popcorn, folks. Rick, take it away. Mr. Lindell's wild accusations against True News are reckless and defamatory. His team is feeding him inaccurate information about us. We are demanding that Mr. Lindell immediately retract his accusations and apologize to True News. This is our last request from Mike Lindell to do the right thing. Admit he made a terrible mistake, retract his defamatory accusations, and publicly apologize to True News. One more thing, Mr. Lindell, your public apology should come with a $1 million check, a donation to True News to compensate for the damage you have done to us with your wild, reckless accusations. Okay. I love that he's not just demanding an apology and uh, demanding that Mike Lindell issue a retraction, but he's also demanding one million dollars. dollars. I mean, <laughs> what? I mean, maybe he's like trying to subtly suggest that if you don't give me money, 
I might take you to court for defamation. I'm not necessarily sure, but I love this. I love that they're fighting each other. I say, let them fight. But if you're thinking, hmm, after I see this exchange between these two individuals, both Trump sycophants, I'm going to have to side with Rick Wiles because he clearly is the more sane one here. Mm, hold that because my audience, I know that they know about Mike Lindell. I don't know how much you all know about Rick Wiles, but if you're not familiar with Rick Wiles, here's a brief introductory course into the world of Rick Wiles. So as NBC News reports, a right-wing Florida pastor was hospitalized with COVID-19 weeks after saying vaccination efforts were part of a mass death campaign. The pastor, Rick Wiles, wrote Tuesday on truenews.com where he propagates homophobic, racist, and other hateful conspiracy theories that he had COVID-19-related pneumonia and difficulty breathing. He said that he was being released from the hospital later that day, but that his wife was still very fatigued. He added that his daughter-in-law was in the hospital with extreme dehydration and vomiting, and that at least four other family members, including his grandson, had developed COVID-19-related symptoms. At least three True News team members were also recovering from the virus he wrote. This was a full frontal hit from hell on your true news family, Wiles wrote. Because Jesus Christ lives in us, we shall live too. Your prayers needed for the above family members and team. Thanks to Jesus Christ, not doctors, I survived the CCP COVID genocide on the American people. He added, apparently referencing the Chinese Communist Party, of course. About a month ago, Wiles said he was not going to be vaccinated. I'm going to be one of the survivors. I'm going to survive the genocide, he said in an interview posted to True News. I'm not going to allow the COVID maniacs to convince me to be vaccinated or vaccinate me against my will. Mm -hmm. So, in other words, he got COVID-19. His entire family got COVID-19. The True News crew got COVID-19. And the takeaway is, um, I'm still not going to get vaccinated. Yeah. Uh, you and Mike Lindell deserve each other, Rick Wells. That's all I'll say. You deserve each other. Um, I'm glad that you're fighting. Anything that you do to him, he deserves. Anything that he does to you, you deserve. You both are absolute lunatics. You are... Uh, spreading misinformation, which is very harmful. It's hurtful to our democracy, and I really don't appreciate that. So, uh, fuck you. Keep fighting, because I'm loving it. I will continue to watch it. Rip each other apart.